Yeah. Yeah, good evening, all. So before I start, can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not? Yes. Yes, can see the screen as well. So today my discussion will be in Python Software Foundation. PSF. It is a non-profit organization. It is a non-profit. Devoted towards Python community. It is a non-profit organization devoted towards Python community. It was launched in the year it was launched in the year 2001. The main objective of this, the main objective of this is to foster the development of Python. To foster the development of Python from version to version. To foster the development of Python from version to version. In the year 2005, in the year 2005, PSF, Python Software Foundation received In the year PSF received right? Computer World Organization Award. Okay, in the year 2005, it received an award, and the president for this <clears throat> president for this is Gudo Van Rosum. Gudo Van Rosum, right. <laughs> The same personality, this is a Gudo Van Rosum is the same personality, right? Who developed Python, who introduced Python, the same personality is the president for this uh, Python Software Foundation and the headquarters, the headquarters for this, right? Headquarters, Delaware, right? US. Official website. Official website, right? Python.org. Python.org, right? Is the official website from where we can download Python, from where we can install Python, right? Official website, Python.org. Okay, Python versions, Python versions. Before I go with this uh, installation of Python, like Python versions, the first version, Python 1.x version.
the first version python 1.x was released in the year 1989 the second version the python 2 version 2.x 2.x means 2.1 2.2 2.3 right but the first version was released in the year right 2000 python 3.x version it was released in the year right 2008 the version what we are using currently the version what we are using currently is python 3.x version python 3.x the latest version of python right the latest version of python latest version of python python 3.12 Python 3.12 is the latest version. Stable version of Python. Stable version of Python. Stable version of Python. Python 3.11. Stable version is nothing but mostly used version. Stable version is nothing but mostly used version. <clears throat> so the version what we are going to install is Python 3.12. <clears throat> Okay, Python installation. Next is Python installation. Okay. So before I go with the installation, right, <clears throat> you go to the settings, apps, Okay, scroll down. I'll uninstall this the 3.12.4, right? Uninstall this. Uninstall, right. So Python provides different softwares. Python provides different softwares for different environments. For Win for Windows, for Linux, for Mac OS. But for Linux, no need of any special installation, right? By default, Python comes as inbuilt within this Linux OS. But for Windows, <clears throat> for but for Windows, right? It's providing two softwares. Python providing two softwares for Windows 32 bit, for Windows 64 bit. How will you check whether your Windows is a 32 bit or 64 bit, right? So I'll just minimize this. How will you check your Windows is a 32 bit or 64 bit? Just right click on your PC file explorer, go to this PC. This PC, right click on this PC and say properties. What it is saying? 64-bit operating system. It's clearly saying 64-bit operating system. So if it is 32-bit, you are supposed to download 32-bit Python software. If it is 64-bit, provides like 64-bit operating system. So I hope if you are using the latest versions of Windows, like uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, Mostly like 64 bit.
Okay. Okay. Check this. An installation is complete. An installation was successful. Close this. Now I'll show you how to download Python, how to install Python. It hardly takes one minute for installing Python. Okay. I'll close this, right. So Python installation, right. So go to this, uh, open this Chrome browser. Just open this Chrome browser, right? Yes. What is the official website for Python? www.python.org Python.org is the official website. Hmm. Python.org is the official website for Python. Okay, go to this downloads, go to this downloads, all releases, click that all releases and just scroll down, scroll down to the bottom. Don't go for this active Python releases, just scroll down, looking for a specific release, looking for a specific release, right? See this, all the versions from the last 20 years, it will be displayed here. But see the latest version, 3.12.5, just yesterday it was released, August 6, 2024. Just yesterday itself it was listed, the latest version of Python. Just click that 3.12.5, the latest version of Python, right. Click it. What Python three point twelve point five right? Scroll down, scroll down to the bottom, scroll down to the bottom of this right. Here you can see at the bottom. If you are using Mac OS, Mac OS sixty four bit universal installer. For Windows, 64-bit uh, and 32-bit. If your Windows is a 32, 32. If your Windows is 64, 64-bit. So just to click this 64-bit, right? Yes. Click this 64-bit, your download started. Just the 32 MB of size. Just 32 MB of size, right? Yes. Just 25, sorry, 25 MB of size. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so click this file or go to the downloads and click the TXE file. <clears throat> Whenever you click it, you will get this window. You're going to get this window, right? Immediately don't go for installation. Immediately don't go for the installation. Click add Python to add Python to path. Click add Python to path. So you're adding Python to the path variable of OS. And go for customize installation. Go for what? Customize installation. Okay, nothing to select here, right? Nothing to select, right? Go to next. Next, you can say. Yes. Here also. Where it is getting installed, 
where it is getting installed in C, in users, Dell, app data, local programs, Python, Python 3.11. Means if you see tomorrow where this Python is getting installed, if you want to look at where is Python, right? C, users, Dell, app data, local programs. You need to enter into all this subdirectors. You need to enter into all the subdirectors, right? <clears throat> Just say, if you want to install it, I doesn't want to enter into all these subdirectories. Just remove all this, remove all this, remove all this, right? Yes. Just install Python in your C drive, Python 3.12 folder. There's a folder Python 3.12 is going to get created automatically. And this data will be installed. The data will be loaded into this, right? Yes, Python is going to be installed into this. Just say install. Yeah, setup was successful. Just to close this. How will you check whether your Python is installed successfully or not? How will you check whether your Python is successfully or not? Means after. Just to go to this uh, bottom search panel. Type CMD. Go to this command prompt, yes. Say enter. Okay. Just to type Python here. Just to type Python here and say enter. So the Python version is going to be displayed and the Python interpreter is going to get opened. So this Python version and the Python interpreter is going to get open. So just type any valid Python statements for plus one. Or just say X as 10, Y as 5. What is x? What is y? What is x plus y? x minus y? Any valid statements you can type, right? x into y. x equal to aj. X plus Y. Then Sajay Kumar, right? Yes. In this way, any valid Python statements you can type, it is working fine. So your Python is working fine, right? Say quit.
if anyone working in the Linux environment, if anyone working in the Linux environment, you want the latest version of Python to be installed, right? So we can say like sudo apt and get install Python 3.12. Just version like Python. Yes, is my voice audible to one? Python execution modes, two modes of execution, right? Two modes of execution. Two modes of execution. First one is interactive mode. Interactive mode. Here we directly type. Here we directly type Python statements, right? Here we directly type Python statements. Here we directly type Python statements on the interpreter. Just now I showed you about the interactive mode, right? Here you can check them. This is interactive mode. We can easily interact statement by statement, right? We directly type Python statements on the interpreter. And the user can easily interact with Python. Statement by statement. The user can easily interact with Python statement by statement. Advantage of the interactive mode. What is the advantage you see, right? to test the functionalities of Python. To test the functionalities of Python and to learn Python.
to test the functionalities of Python and to learn Python. If it doesn't know about any Python functionality, you can type and check what output it is going to provide and for learning Python. And one more thing, batch mode, right? Batch mode. Interactive mode is one. Second one is batch mode. But for developing applications, for developing applications, right? This interactive mode is not preferred, not used. So we go for batch mode. Here, we directly, here we directly We write set of statements within the editors or IDs. Editors or IDs. Here we write set of statements with editors or IDs and save it by using .py extension and later submit it to Python. And later submitting to Python, right? So what are the various headers where we write the Python code? And what are the various IDs where we write the Python code? Various editors, right? What are the various headers where we can write the Python code? Various editors. Hmm. Within the notepad, we write Within the notepad, we write this Python code. Within the edit plus, we can write the Python code and create dot py files. Within the VI editor, right? Within the VI editor, we write. Within the nano editors, we can write right? Python code and create dot py files. Various editors where we can write the Python code the notepad within the edit plus within the vi and within this nano editor what are the various uh, various ids in real time we use ids right integrated development environment ids right integrated development environments PyCharm, PyDev, Pomodo, Spider, Eclipse, NetBeans, Jupyter Notebook, oh. Jupyter Notebook, right?
Jupyter Notebook, VS Code. So what are the various IDEs, right? PyCharm, PyDev, Commodore, Spider, Eclipse, NetBeans, Jupyter, VS Code. Why these many IDs per Python? Why not one or two IDs? Why not one or two? Because uh, Python is used for different environments. Python is used for different environments, right? Different environments using this Python. So different environments use different IDs. For example, data science uses Jupyter Notebook, Spider, even big data using Spider and Jupyter Notebook. Yes. VS code. For typical web applications, this VS code is preferred, PyCharm is preferred. Among all this, PyCharm is the mostly preferred, is the mostly preferred one. Mostly used, right? Yes. Okay, developing the first Python application. So I'll be showing you in my, in not in a single idea, I'll show you in multiple IDs, right? I'll be showing you how to execute this, how to download this IDs, how to install and how to run the code in this different IDs, right? Developing the first Python application. Next is uh, developing the first Python application. within a editor, within a editor. Developing the first Python application within a editor. Example like a notepad. Open Notepad and type the following Python statements. Open Notepad and type the following Python statements. X value is 10. Y is 20. As of now, we didn't discuss anything about Python, right? I just want to perform some kind of arithmetical operations. Let print x plus y. x plus y. Print x minus y. Print x into y. Print x by y. Uh, x plus y, x minus y, x into y, and x by y. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Just I'll copy this to a separate notepad file. Right. Notepad. Control and save it. Control S. Save this right to a separate notepad file. 
So Python 7 p.m. right? I'm saving it in the Python STV equity folder like Python 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Save it as sample one dot py. <clears throat> Save it as sample one dot py. Save it. Now submit this file. Save as sample one dot py and now submit this file. Save as and now submit this file to Python. Now just Okay. Just to go to the command prompt. Just to go to the command prompt and just type Python and submit the file. Submit the path where your file is available, right? Within the C drive. Hmm. Python 3.12. No, no, Python 7 p.m., right? Python 7 p.m. within that sample one dot py. So just the file name present in which folder, present in which drive, the entire path is submitted to Python, submitted to Python, right? Yes. Say enter now. Just enter 10 plus 20, 10 minus 20, 10 into 20, 10 by 20. You are this right. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So just submit that uh, file path to Python. It gives the result, right? Yes. Just to go to this, right? See Python the path. Okay. But what is your observation here, right? But here. But here we are writing the code. We are writing the code at one place and executing at the other place. One second. We are writing the code at one place and executing at the other place. Where we are writing the code within the notepad. We are writing the code within the notepad and executing at the other place and executing at the other place, which place within the command prompt.
but to write and execute at the same place, but to write and execute. But to write and execute at the same place, we have IDLE. We have IDLE. Integrated Development Learning Environment. Integrated Development Learning Environment, right? Yes. Which comes along with Python installation. So, but to write and execute at the same place, but to write and execute at the same place. You have ideally, which comes along with Python installation, which comes along with Python installation, using which we can write and execute, we can write and execute at the same place. But to write and execute this, we have ideally, which comes along with Python installation using which we can write and execute at the same place. How to open this ideally? Where you can see this ideal limits, if you go to this app, all programs, just scroll down, scroll down, right? Just where your Python, all the installed applications, you can see the start programs, right? All apps, go to this Python 3.12. The Python 3.12, what is the first thing? I-D-L-E, I-D-L-E, right? Yes. Let's click this idea. Yeah, this Python shell gets open. This is one way. Otherwise, uh, just to go to this uh, search at the bottom, you can see the search right here. You can type I D L E. I D L E. You can type I D L E, right? Yes and say enter. So ideally Python 3.12, you can see that, say enter, that's it. This Python shell gets open like this. If you want to work with batch mode, say file, new file, and just write the code here, right? X is 10, Y is 20, Print x plus y, print x minus y. Print x into y, print x by y. X plus y, x minus y, x into y, x by y. Okay. So go to the C drive where you save your Python code, Python 7 pm batch. Okay, just save it here as the name sample, sample2, two. sample2 two dot py and just execute and check it run here only we are writing the code here only we can execute the code writing the code yourself and executing the code yourself right writing the code yourself and executing the code yourself right 
10 plus 20, 10 minus 20, 10 into 20, 10 by 20. Okay. So writing the code and executing the code. Okay. So in the today's session, what we have discussed, right? Yes. So Python software foundation, Python versions, Python installation, Python execution modes, interactive mode, types of editors, types of IDs, various IDs, developing the first Python application, right? Yes. Any queries as part of today's session? Anyone, right? Uh, tomorrow also. The difference you... between ID and editor. ID and editor. The editor means you can create any file, right? A .txt file, any kind of files you can create. Editor means like a notepad. Notepad is one editor. It's a, not a Python editor, right? It is a, it can create any kind of file. Any kind of file like a text file, CSV file, .py file. It's a normal, it's not, a, it's normal text file. Editor means any kind of editor like Notepad Edit Plus, right? Any kind of file you can create. But in that editors, you won't see like any Python related functionalities. But IDE, right? Python IDE is uh, like this PyCharm, PyDev. You will see a lot of Python functionalities in it. Here you are just creating a .py file. But here Py, PyCharm, PyDev, all this, uh, you can write the code and you can execute the code within that time. And also it is providing many python related functionalities in that okay so it's a, it's a just a normal text editor normal text is it's not related to python these are all related to python so later i discuss some examples on this test i'll show you how to download these ids and how to run this code on the ids in real time we use these ids okay, okay while, while teaching the class there were some gaps will be happening I think that you are taking gaps or connectivity issue. I don't know. Mm -hmm. From the beginning itself, it is uh, taking the, like that, showing like that. Okay. Some okay. gaps will be happening. So I look into it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Every day you had that a gap or only this day? Yeah, daily. Suppose uh, if you are telling one sentence and uh, again, uh, 30 to 40 seconds gap will be happening. I, I don't know what the issue is about the connectivity or that I'm, I'm thinking that you are taking gap. So that thing I'm absolutely. Yesterday, yesterday you had this kind of gaps? No, yesterday I didn't attend. Today I only attend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Maybe it is a connect, uh, connection issue or from your end, I don't know. Fine. Network issue, I think. It's yeah. a little bit of a network issue. Fine. Okay. Any other queries that you have got? Tomorrow there is no demo at the 7 a.m. Mehul Patel, right? There is no demo at 7 a.m. And every day notes will be sent to our mail IDs, like recording sessions and this class notes. Yeah, every day, every day notes will be forwarded and also that you will be getting the recorded videos. Okay, apart from this running notes, any materials are there for uh, core uh, Python and it also? So totally this uh, notes will be provided, right? For each and every topic, clear notes will be provided. So a copy of this notes. Running notes. That's notes. it? Or yes. any other material? No, no, no. Notes, everything, notes. Okay, Clear. okay. Right. Nice. Every, every example of uh, any programs or everything we will be teaching in this notes only. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I said right nearly like uh, three hundred plus code examples will be discussed as part of this course, and fifteen to twenty applications will be developed in this course. Right. Yes. And one project at the last. Fine. You can check with this right yesterday what I said. Mm -hmm. So Python Korean Advanced. Python Korean Advanced, right? Yes. 
70 hours, two months duration, 6,000 is the course fee. UI technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, design go like 15 to 20 applications creations. So apart from this Python core and advanced, people who go for full stack, these things will be discussed. UI technologies, design go, Flask, REST API, MySQL, right? And a project. So for this uh, second topic number two to seven, right? It also takes 70 hours, two months duration. So Python 70 hours, framework 70 hours, totally 140 hours, two months plus two months, four months. Okay, by attending parallelly, we can able to grasp the concepts uh, without uh, completing the core and advanced. So first parallelly, one, we can- uh... Multiple times I said in the last session also, so whenever you are attending Python core, right, you will be discussed with UI technologies, which doesn't require any Python knowledge. It takes one month for this UI technologies as it's a weekend batch. By the time this is regular, right? This is regular batch. So Python, you will be attending regularly from Monday to Friday. Only on Saturday, Sundays, you'll be attending these things, right? So here okay. you'll be attending UI technologies, which doesn't require any Python knowledge. Okay. HT, These UI technologies are for one month. Cascading, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, right? Yeah. One, one month in the sense, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, like four weekends. Okay. Four. Timings? Timings in the mornings it will be. At what time it will start? Saturday and Sunday, right? Means in the coming session, whatever that... Uh, Framework batches are going to start. You can attend it. Already they are running in the morning sessions, but a new batch will be starting in the coming days. That you can attend it. So sir, by, most probably Saturday, by Sunday, the, two hours, two hours, sir. Huh? Yes. Okay. The timing will be fixed. Uh, it not fixed right now. No, mostly like somewhere like eight thirty. Okay, so, morning eight thirty to ten thirty, like that. Yes. Okay. Hello, sir. Uh, can I audible? Hello. Yes, yeah, sir. this is Mayul Patel speaking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, will you will you take that uh, UI technology batch or another faculty no, will no, be? I I only will be handling it. Okay, so that's no problem. And I have one more question. Full stack uh, Python is equal to core and advanced, right? That uh, core and advanced will cover uh, all things, right? Full stack Python. No, no, no. See this, sir. Core and advanced. Apart from that core and advanced, all this will be included in the full stack. Okay. So if this I only... select the full stack, so that means uh, everything will be covered, right? All this will be covered. Okay. So that is, uh, okay. So that batch will be starting from tomorrow, 7 a.m. also, right? That batch? No, no, no. Tomorrow no? there is no demo, no class at tomorrow. It will be on Monday at 7 a.m. Okay. Monday, 7 a.m. We're 12th of August, right? Monday, 7 a.m. Yes, yes. Okay, so tomorrow morning is a, that is a demo session. Tomorrow there is no morning. Session. There is no morning session. Okay, okay. So I thought is around twelfth of okay. Okay. So, so tomorrow evening even any demo session or? Yeah, tomorrow evening so I can attend because I half of it. So tomorrow also everyone can attend the session same time at seven o'clock okay. using the same link to see more on this. Tomorrow I'll be starting with the technicals, right? Means the data types, variables, these things. So tomorrow also people can attend, but day after tomorrow, the link will be changing. Okay. So this whole course is, uh, sir, uh, two months, right? So after two months, uh, is it possible like any resume preparation like Durga Soft uh, technology, so they can support it for resume preparation and uh, interview mock interviews? Yes, yes, I see. Yeah, okay. You'll yeah, I, I was let so sorry for that. So I missed that uh, session. So that's why. Okay, so, so that will be good. Previously asked interview questions. Yes, yes. Us. A WhatsApp okay. group will be created for technical discussion. So okay, very copy good. of these notes okay. and videos. This all you will be getting, right? Okay. Yes. And how, how how can I fill up the resume gap also? Like uh, if it is a career academics gap, like LDA. project. Yes. Yeah, okay. 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 So okay. as part of this full course, as a part of this full stack, right? A project also is going to be discussed. Okay. Web okay. development project. Django. Okay. Yes. Django and Flask. Okay. So, Banking application we can develop with uh, Python. Like I'm from the Java background, 
So mm-hmm. I am curious about like whatever I worked in the Spring Boot technology and uh, GSP, Java server pages, everything. So those application also we can mm-hmm. develop in Python, right? Any kind of applications you can develop in Python. Python. Okay, enterprise application works. Yes. Okay. So here, 70 hours on Python, 70 hours on this framework, totally 140 hours. For okay. Python, two months, and for that framework, two months, right? So okay. 6K is the first, if you want only Python, 6,000 is the fee. Okay. And both 6K plus 7K, totally 13K. But if you're taking total full stack, right, at a time payment, right, yes. like 12K, you okay. will be getting all these things. So actually, okay. it's a Django is that, but uh, I'm providing you one more framework freely, that is Flask framework. Okay. Apart from Django framework, I'm providing you one more framework, that is Flask framework, that is also mostly used. And this UI technology is also not like a overview, everything in brief. And REST API, right? Okay. Fine. So REST API is a similar like Java development, uh, MVC, those things uh, will be covered in, right? Yes. MVC will be covered in module, okay. Here we follow not MVC here, MVT will follow. MVT, okay. Model view template space. In Java, we follow MVC. Yes, that's why. I... We, are, we are going to write code everything in Java, but here we are not going to do all those. Yes, I'm from the Java background, so that's why, sir. I'm curious about like what is if I select the Python, so it will be stronger after five years, right? Is this yesterday's class you have you attended? No, no, sir. I just uh, today morning I saw the schedule, so that's why. Uh, I written I have written a Java code yesterday. Okay. The same code I implemented in Python. Yeah, very short. Uh, that is true. Not even one fourth coding uh, Python required, right? Past yeah, time. that's why I that's why I switched from Java to Python. I started the learning by myself also. So yesterday uh, I differentiated yes. Python code with Java code. How simple? Without okay. any zero knowledge in Python, you will be able to understand the Python statements. I said yesterday right. I showed you. Yesterday I showed you five to six uh, sample Python snippets, a graph generation. Without uh, zero knowledge, everyone able to generate a graph in Python. Yes. Without zero knowledge, a module like math module I showed you, and uh, how to perform different aggregations in Python, right? Without any knowledge, even uh, with zero knowledge, you can understand all the statements. Yesterday I showed you multiple examples. So okay. people from zero background, non-programming background, and other things, right? By seeing the statements, you can easily understand. But uh, if you see the Java coding, people from non-programming or zero programming, not even a single line you will understand. Class, public, static, white, bank, You're right. <laughs> full stream <laughs> reader, is... buffered reader, integer dot parse in converting to integer, right? Yes. So that's what I was saying about space okay. class. Okay. So if yeah, anybody is... missed yesterday's class, right, you can check in the chart. Okay. You can, say, you can see in the chart, right, a big message given by this online team. They have given the course content in that full Python course content, full stack course content, and a demo video you can see. Okay. Demo video links are given. Can you see the demo videos? In that you can see all the video links are available, right? Demo videos, right? Yes. Yeah. And the payment details, everything is provided and the contact details of the online team. Payment will, detail will be there, right? I can make payment. Payment details, everything are provided. The contact details, if you want any query, right? And check okay. later. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, any other queries, right? Anyone? So, Django, and it is also for weekends only. Django or class can rest every day. Yes. After completion of this uh, HTML and CSS, you can deal with this one. Django yes. and rest every Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if I'm done with the queries, I'll sign off for now and meet you tomorrow. Same time using the same link to see more on this. Hello. Yes. Yes, one uh, last question. Actually, today it's my first class. I've just uh, enrolled for the 6000 uh, Python core program. So I had joined today's session for the first session. Just want to understand for the further session, it would start from 12th, uh, as you mentioned, right? 
No, no, no. Tomorrow there is a session that is about the people who wants to attend at the morning. A new batch in okay. the morning, right? Evening okay. batch daily, from today it will be in the morning. So it's, today will be the session. Tomorrow, day after tomorrow, it continues. Sessions. Okay, if I have to attend the evening batch, so uh, what is the timing for that one? So first 10 days, it will be from here onwards, okay, for one week, it will be at uh, 7 p.m. But later after that, it will be at 8 p.m. It starts at 8 p.m. Okay, all right. So daily, this batch continues daily, right, here on. And okay. uh, I said for the first one week, it will be at... Uh, 7 p.m. it starts. Later it will start at 8 p.m. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Fine. So. Okay. So I'm stopping for now. We'll continue tomorrow. More. Tomorrow evening, same time, same link. Right. Yes. Fine.